God has been very patient with me in that process to recognize, look, your life's not going to be a total, you know, failure. This is going to be a totally different adventure, and it's going to be what I create. And you, there's no way you can understand that right now, but you're going to see it lay out day after day. When you continue to put yourself in my hands, watch what happens. Faith teaches us so much how much God loves us yeah. and, and how much he, he wants to be present in our lives. And, and that means that He wants to be present in our marriage and in our family. Mm. And He wants to be present in the smallest of things to the largest of things. And, and to not turn our back away from that invitation yeah. and to not forget um, God's place in our life. Right. Um, and I think that once we do that, then we begin to see a, a clear picture of, of God being that loving Father mm. who who wants to do more than just, you know, I won't hold that against right. you, but to give you more and to give you himself. Yeah, it's, it's a, you know, that's been a challenge for me, that right there. And I think God has been very patient with me in that process to recognize, look, it's not just going to be that, like, your life's not going to be a total, you know, failure. Yeah. That I'm going to keep you from failing. Right. Or I'm going to keep you from, from, you know, going to hell. Right. It's, this is going to be a totally different adventure. Yeah. This is going to be a totally different paradigm, like a totally different landscape yes. than you can ever picture. Right. Right. And it's going to be what I create. And right. you, there's no way you can understand that right now, yeah. but you're going to see it lay out day after day. When you continue to put yourself in my hands, watch what happens. You know, it's going to be crazy. So question, um, what would you tell, because you work a lot with the Archdiocese of New mm -hmm. Orleans, working with um, a lot of engaged couples. Yes. Um, what are, how do you try to, in a simple way, how do you try to explain this to couples who are, you know, they, they've got so much excitement mm -hmm. about, you know, the wedding day and they've they got a lot of stuff on their plate and trying right. to organize things. Um, how do you try to impart this? Because I think this is part of like a fundamental understanding of relationship, marriage, seeing God in the key and all of that. Yeah. You know, you have to, you have to know who you're dealing with, right? You have to know where they are right now with engaged couples. It's just like you said. Yeah. They're super excited about each other. They're super excited about their future together. Mm -hmm. They've made the decision, and they are ready to, to, to be together heroically. On the journey. Yeah. Totally. Which is beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's what got them together. You know? Right, right. <laughs> so it's beautiful. Uh, so we have a tendency to want to do with married couples to be like, hey, it's about to get bad. <laughs> Just get ready. You Buckle think it's up. good now. It's going to be terrible. Like, well, you need tools <laughs> because when it gets bad, you got to be right. prepared, you know. Well, that's sounds like a letdown, right? It is. It's, it it is. sounds and, like, and it's like, like, wait, well, obviously. first in my bubble, geezer. Like, <laughs> right. I'm, I'm, I'm having a good time here. Well, I think this is great. It's right. not going to be like yours then. No. I'm going to have happiness like maybe you had the entire marriage. time. Maybe you Maybe everybody's got a bad marriage. Right, right. We're doing great. Right, right, right. So I think we have to be able to say, uh, because what is under the surface for them, yeah. there is a little bit of a fear to some extent that... These, you know, what, what's cute now, mm -hmm. you know, like maybe, maybe you won't be able to give me everything that I need, yeah. you know, and that's okay. And right now it's, it's kind of like, but that's okay because it's going to be fine because I'm not going to expect that from you anyway. Or you are going to be able to give me what I need at some point right. when you change, you know, these kind of <laughs> things. And I think um, to be able to speak to the beauty of it and then to be able to continue to speak in the positive sense to the beauty of them, what it feels like yeah. when your spouse becomes somebody that can't be for you right now. Yeah. How is it that, that I can be for my wife or for your, my future wife what I can't be for her right now? Yeah. Like, that's going to be awesome. And I think to be able to, to go from awesome to awesome yeah. to even more awesome right. is where we got to go with it with some of these folks. Yeah. Because otherwise, we end up becoming across as like Catholic curmudgeons. Yeah. You know, that we've got to be able to explain, look, not, you think it's awesome now? It is. But man, it is amazing when you go through hell together. Or like when, when God makes you into somebody that you can't be for your, your spouse. And I think it's very important to give very solid, concrete examples yeah. as to how that's happened for me, right? You know, and how that's happened for my wife. Mm -hmm. You know, when we give when we give presentations to engaged couples, or we're you know one on one, right? Like they've, we have got to be able to provide concrete examples mm -hmm. of how God did for us in our marriage, what we wanted but yeah. couldn't do for ourselves. And like, you talk about hope. I mean that that is that is serious hope. The the point here is that. You know, maybe people listening, uh, they, you know, they're not, maybe they're not presenters uh, and they, yeah. they're in front of people, but you said, but we all are all, we all of us are concrete witnesses, meant to be. That's the most important thing to be. We have to witness yeah. the love of God 
real, challenging as it is, um, and, and impart that wisdom and that hope to others. Mm. That when, when they look at us, you know, look at you and Kate or Elise and I, like, Lord willing, they'll see something more than just us. Yeah. Because we've made it more than just about us. Right, right. And I think that's, like I said before, even if I am doing presentations and stuff, ultimately, the people who are going to be most affected by anything that God has done is going to be the people who are closest to yeah. us and to see it for what it really is. Yeah. Otherwise, like I said, it's just ideas. And it's not just like, not, I was saying, not just make, it because it is more about it. It's, it's, it's more than just us. That's right. And so by its very nature, just let it be what it's meant to be. And to, to, and to be honest, I, I, our key role in this is to allow God to change us into something that we're, that we're not yeah. right now. Otherwise, we've got nothing to witness. Yeah. If we're all just talking to each other about the ideas yeah. we read in the book, you know, but if, if we can be, I think it requires being humble enough to allow God to do something real. Yes. Because that's the only thing that's going to make a difference for anybody yeah. else. You know? And that, that, that letting go and surrendering and allowing God to, to move us will give us um, a love that is, goes deeper and, and it will be richer yeah. um, than, than what we had ever in the beginning. That's because right. it's, love is meant to grow. Mm. And God wants to be in that in that moment and be in all the moments and Absolutely. to allow us, you know, however long we have that this, as, as Fulton Sheen said, our love is, is like this river that is meant to end into this, lead us to this, this sea, yeah. this ocean of water mm. that is meant to lead us into that journey of his love.